All right, y'all, I'm gonna explain this to you from beginning right here. This is the uh, Zebra solar charger. It's the 0.15 joules. So this one here is the ground and it's going to a grounding rod. We have one grounding rod in here tied to another grounding rod 10 feet over like the instructions say over here and then another 10 feet over the opposite direction to a grounding rod in right there. This one's a wire that we had that I had, copper, that's going. Those clips, so you can see how that is. <clears throat> There's three wires tied in together right here. And then it's attached there. This is the fence, this is the hot. Okay, it then goes all the way down and this goes to the gate what I did was I tied the two gate units together with another copper wire to make them act as one unit so that copper wire there there this comes from the unit this is hot right now so I'm not going to be touching it so it makes this whole thing hot which then makes this hot. What? But when I disconnect this, then the whole top line, all the way, the whole top line is not hot anymore when I disconnect it. But the bottom line still will be hot. So that's how I did it. And that's because of me tying them together here. And I can touch that because it's got the coating on it. See it blinking? It's still hot. That is cool. So even when this is open, you still have some security. The bottom line is still on. So guys, the reason why I did this is that so when you're walking through and if you leave this top one off, now the whole top all the way around is not hot. So you can mess with it if you need to. And while you're going in and out even, you're not gonna have a break in the fence being hot because the bottom one will still be hot when the top is undone and vice versa if we were to take the bottom one off all the way around the bottom won't be hot anymore but the top still will be all right so for all of you who are like me I have very very little experience electric fencing I've worked at quite a few places where they had electric fencing but I have no experience no experience actually setting up electric fencing I've worked on it for other people before and helped them with it as far as if they've already had it set up, I've worked on maintenance for them. And whenever electric fencing is up and you hear this wherever you're hearing that, the fence is actually grounding somewhere. You don't want that. That takes power from the, the electric fencing. So it makes it weaker in other spots. And I heard that, that ticking noise right over here, so I knew to look for it. And that's because this wire here where I tied it off was touching the metal. That metal is going to ground. So it was grounding right there. I was very careful not to do that anywhere else, but somehow I missed it right there. So this wire is by itself right here. That's why when it's disconnected at the gate, there's no power to this whole line. That's by itself. It's tied off. So when it's disconnected at the gate, there's no power in the whole line. Okay, we're going to put a gate in right here so that we can easily let the cows go from that pasture to this pasture. You can see <laughs> the cows are in that pasture, eating them much and crunching away. But we'll, we can let them go back and forth very soon here. And we'll see how it goes. Hey daddy, Coco is going to hey. get your hat. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. That's my hat. Hey, daddy, she's going for it again. Hey. Leave my hat alone. Daddy, Rowan's going for it. Hey. You. 
Hey guys, um, we just finished the gate, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> uh, just had this lying around from a couple years ago when we had goats. We tried to make some sort of fence to hold them. It didn't work very good. But we put that here. Had this cedar post attached to it and attached it onto this tipo make kind of a hinge and on this side we just bent it over top and bottom super simple gate yep that will that'll hold the cows and we got the whole fence done and one day in one day we didn't do any prep work how big of an area is this? Pretty big area. Gonna let, let the cows into the new paddock for the first time. They're not trained to the electric, so hopefully they do okay here. Here they are. They all seem to like it. Good work, love. They are really liking it. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to find out this water here. They're going to be happy. Happy, happy cows. Be happy. Mm -hmm. Daddy, I'm totally excited about the cow dog here now. Are you? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. He got it. <laughs> oh, wow. They will really improve this pasture by stomping down all the old blackberries that mm -hmm. were cut. They'll eat the fresh ones that are coming up. Right. And then they'll drop all their nutrient here, spread the seed, mm -hmm. and uh, that'll be good. Yep. Improve this pasture. This little man is getting close to the fence. Let's see if he touches it. Oh, he did. He got nipped. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, there it goes. He got nipped again. Now, little man's our youngest one, so he may be the slowest to learn, but he just got bit twice by that electric. <laughs> He's moving away from it now. Hopefully, that means they're all trained to it. They've all been hit by the electric. Alright guys, this is just the day after we did the fencing. And I'll tell you, it is such a pleasure to see them just loving this field back here. They are going crazy over it. We've got a bunch of variety back here. They're all digging on the plants, the trees, and the grays. So it's going fantastic. They've all been shocked, which I hate for them to be shocked, but they've all been shocked and they went the right direction. They were shocked and jumped back. So that's really good. If they get shocked and go scared to jump forward, that's bad. I'm going to watch them for just a little bit longer. It is such a pleasure. I could just put a chair out here and, and sit here and just watch them and hear them just munching. It's so cool. Little, 
Oh, she's been left out. I think she must have been zapped on the electrical because she's not testing it. It's like she knows. Yeah, she must have been zapped on it. All right, guys, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed with humility. Over the realization of what we're doing here <clears throat> and how it's going. Yeah, it's super difficult, <laughs> really, really hard. There's been many times when I've wanted to give up. Many more times where other of my family members have wanted to give up. <clears throat> but when you know you're supposed to do something, it doesn't matter how much you want to give up. You just, you just don't give up. To choosing not to give up and to choosing to be thankful, to choosing to be grateful, to choosing to love my family and love him. And then to think about all that's happened and where we've come, how far we've come. It's just now to have these cows out here on this field. Um... It's humbling to think about that these cows are in our care. All these animals are in our care. Animal husbandry and plant husbandry, these things we're learning. Um, and we're learning. We are le We have a lot to learn still, but we are learning. All right, guys. So we have another paddock like this over by the swale, which is all the way over there, that we already have a gate going from this main pasture, this name main paddock, into it. So all we have to do is be able to fence off the swell and then fence off to the driveway. And we have a whole other paddock we can move the cows to. So all we need is a few posts, um, probably like one order of ten or something like that. <clears throat> we need another grounding kit. And then we can move the, um, the charger back and forth. <clears throat> so when we move these cows out of here, we'll give it this area rest. We can move them into the main pasture and then move them through the main pasture to the other paddock. So that's our goal. And uh, in order to be able to accomplish this, this was a blessing from one of you into our PayPal. So thank you so much once again. This is so cool. These cows are loving it. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.